We hope and pray that your family is safe. My family has never been more grateful to live on site here at John Knox Ranch. My wife, Emily, the pastor of Hyde Park Presbyterian Church in Austin, has been holding Zoom worship from our home on rainy days and from our beautiful John Knox Ranch outdoor chapel, where we are right now, on sunny days. Our boys, Jack and Ross, ages nine and six, truly hit the jackpot for quarantine locations. We know this may be the most important summer of camp ministry ever at John Knox Ranch. So we waited as long as possible in order to make a decision about summer camp. The staff of John Knox Ranch, the advisory committee, and Presbytery leadership have decided to host camp this summer with significant safety modifications. Camp is on. We did not come to this decision lightly, and I would like to personally thank all of those involved in our decision-making process for their thoughtful discernment. Camp has never been more important. We all need time outside, building relationships in a loving community. We concluded that if we can host camp safely, we should. Camp will look different. The safety of camp this summer depends on a partnership between camp staff and our summer camp families. What happens outside of camp is just as important as what happens within it. We have developed a summer 2020 safety plan based on mandatory guidance from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, American Camp Association, the YMCA, and the Texas Department of Health Services. The plan can be found on our website and is subject to change as the pandemic changes. We will not hesitate to cancel camps at any point if we feel we can no longer run camps safely. John Knox Ranch is well suited to meet these guidelines. First, the guidelines call for camps to segment campers and staff into small groups that do their activities together. We have been using family units as the foundation of our program since 1963. The CDC also makes it clear that being outside is much safer than being inside. Our whole program takes place outside. We've got the best camp outdoor location of any camp anywhere and our campers love being outside. Months ago, we proactively reduced our resident camp session limit from 85 campers to 50 campers and our day camp session limit from 30 to 20. This will allow us to create more distance between camper groups and decrease the group sizes. We also proactively pushed back our start date three weeks to give us more time to prepare. We have hired additional summer staff to help with the need for increased cleaning and disbursement of campers. And I wanna give a shout out to our summer staff really quickly. We have 25 young adults who are so dedicated to this ministry. They are willing and excited to do the extra cleaning, the sanitizing. They're gonna get here on June 14th and then not leave until the second week of August. They'll be quarantined that whole entire time. They're so dedicated to this ministry and we are so grateful for them and so proud of them. They will be receiving a small, very small, mostly symbolic hazard pay bump in their weekly rates for this summer. Throughout the summer, the cancellation options will remain the same. If any family does not feel like this is the right summer for them, they can request a full refund at any time, including the deposit. They can roll their fees over till 2021, or they can donate a portion of their fees to John Knox Ranch to help us through this time. For some of our camp families, this is not the year to send your child to summer camp. If you're a camper or anyone they will be returning home to after camp is in a high risk category, or if your family cannot meet the safety requirements outlined in our summer safety plan on our website, please do not send your child to camp this summer. We love you and we will see you next year. If summer camp is right for your camper and your family this summer, please register as soon as possible. Spots are limited and we expect to fill up. I would also encourage you to check out our family camp, which is happening over a weekend in late August. Come to the beautiful Texas Hill Country and spend some quality time with your quarantine. I wanna share with you how COVID-19 has impacted the John Knox Ranch financials. 
It isn't pretty, but it is hopeful. Because of you, the John Knox Ranch community, we are resilient. With our spring retreats canceled, our the first three weeks of summer camp being canceled, and minimizing the session limits for the rest of summer camp, we estimate that our COVID-related loss of income so far is $184,000. Still, because of community, we are resilient. We are stable. And we are so grateful that finances did not play a factor at all in our decision to open camp. Good news. The Light the Match campaign is still on. We have until the end of December to raise $400,000 and that $400,000 will be matched by a generous donor. To date, we have raised $240,000 toward our goal of $400,000. Thank you to all the individuals, the churches, the foundations who have donated and participated. As your churches are considering how and when to bring people back together, please consider hosting a retreat at John Knox Ranch this fall or winter. We look forward to hosting the Presbytery meeting at camp here in October, if possible, and sharing this beautiful, sacred space with you. Please pray for camp this summer. Pray for our staff that are so dedicated to this ministry. Pray for our campers and our camp families who desperately need this experience and pray for the coronavirus to go away. Thank you.